All right, welcome to Shine. I am here with Jason, right? And as you notice, we're probably in a little different setting. We are actually at a, a tattoo parlor. Jason is a tattoo artist, but I actually wanted him to talk about a very special service mm -hmm. that he provides. Tell us what you do. Um, I help uh, breast, breast cancer survivors. I do aerial and nipple repigmentation. So for women that have lost their breasts due to cancer or through reconstructive damages, I go back through and then I repigment the lost coloration of the nipple. And I also do like scar camouflage to right. kind of help mask the, the discolored scars and kind of help rebuild their self-esteem a little bit so how I mean how did you first think that this was something you could do I um, mean how did that just happen a long time ago like whenever the ball really started rolling in my head uh -huh. I had a woman come through my shop and she had actually had a breast enlargement mm -hmm. they were too large and she mm -hmm. went and had a breast reduction to go back smaller and she had scarring from the reduction you know because mm -hmm. usually they cut around the nipple and then they cut down the middle and the bottom um, the scars had stayed pink. They were probably mm -hmm. like five or six years old, mm -hmm. and she asked me to repigment the tissue in that. So, so we, she asked you. Mm -hmm, okay, yeah, she, all right. She actually had worked for a plastic surgeon and, okay. and had sought me out, and I had never done it before at that point in time. Mm -hmm. So the repigment of the tissue. She came back in two weeks later, and it looked perfect. Right. And then I just kind of got the ball rolling in my head, and then. Um, I had talked to my girlfriend about it, who's mm -hmm. a nurse, and she works at Memorial, and we had talked about and talked about and talked about it, you know, if that's a possibility, how do you kind of get into mm -hmm. the medical industry from my standpoint, you mm -hmm. know, as a tattoo artist, because the tattoo industry is just kind of taking off to where, you know, we've only been regulated by the health department for about eight years. Right. So it's still pretty new to mm -hmm. uh, the recognition. That we've right. Been so and then before. even for some of these women, like we talked about, they had never had a tattoo. So, yeah. so to really bring up, hey, this is something that I think can help. I mean, that's kind of a pretty novel idea. Oh, yeah. It's been pretty cool. Um, I started working with Sean Mendenhall, mm -hmm. and he was working at SIU at the time. Uh, he was just finishing up there, and he actually had worked as a body piercer out of a tattoo studio mm -hmm. to help pay for his medical degree. Mm -hmm. And then my girlfriend kind of bridged the gap between the two of us. And initially I wasn't supposed to be doing it. Initially I was going in to teach the SIU team how to do what I do. Right. So I put, I put together with the help of my girlfriend, a PowerPoint presentation. Mostly, Did you really? You put, a, you put out a PowerPoint yeah. of how to color the nipple and, re, um, and make it look. Well, what we did was mm -hmm. um, Kelly Webb down in Carbondale mm -hmm. had a patient that wanted this done. Mm -hmm. And, so Sean had set it up here in my studio. Mm -hmm. She came up. Um, we did the repigmentation with mm -hmm. uh, her nurse practitioner here and Dr. Mendenhall. And I used the pictures from that to help build the PowerPoint wow. presentation. I went in with the presentation and showed them the equipment they would need to be getting done, the methods they would need to be using. I talked to them about healing, you know, what could be a healing problem, right. what could be problematic, what couldn't be problematic. Mm -hmm. And then after the presentation, you know, we all shook hands and. And I, and I left and I was just kind of waiting for the phone call to see where yeah. we were going to go forward right. from that point. Um, so a little bit of time goes by and then I get a text from Sean, hey man, can you talk? And I was like, sure, you know, what's mm -hmm. up? So I, you know, we talk and he's like, well, um, we kind of talked about it and how would you feel about doing it? Because there's no way that we're- Yeah, gonna, you're the professional, Yeah, there's right? no way that we're going <laughs> to be able to acclimate 20 years of your experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into a training course and be mm -hmm. efficient at it to the level that you're doing. Wow. You know, because once they've seen, you know, the one that I've done, right. it, you know, it looked really good. Right, actually. and matching, like you said, different, you know, ethnicities and colors mm -hmm. and races and getting the pigment just right. Yeah, everything's different. From Making it look person, natural. Whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, you're darker mm -hmm. or it's a lighter pink, it's barely mm -hmm. existent. There's so much that right. goes into it. Size, mm -hmm. shape, location. I mean, it, there's a lot of thought that goes into that. Right, you know? right. And, and it's art. Yeah, I mean, I never really thought about it like that. It is, it's art. I, I, I show up to work and I just do this every day. I take it for granted. Well, you know? it's something that I know. I couldn't even draw a nipple or color it in. So, I mean, it's it's art. Well, I mean, when it comes down to doing it, you have mm -hmm. to deconstruct the design you're doing. Right. So you don't necessarily look at it as a finished product. You mm -hmm. deconstruct all the elements of it, and then you reconstruct it mm -hmm. in that sequence. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you accomplish that photorealistic look. It's not trying to do a finished product from the right. right off the bat. You have to build it up just like you do a painting, and that and once mm -hmm. you learn how to deconstruct something and mm -hmm. then re put it back together, 
it really is simple. So you have a woman who has been diagnosed with breast cancer, mm -hmm. um, going through that reconstruction, the breast reconstruction, and we bring that up because it's breast reconstruction month in October. Yes. Um, so how do they get in contact with you or what's that process? Um, it really comes down to who the doctors are. Okay. Um, the doctors, if they are going through SIU, mm -hmm. it's a plastics team, they will get them in contact with me. Okay. If they're going through their own plastic surgeon elsewhere, mm -hmm. um, they can ask their doctor mm -hmm. for a referral, or they can, they can get a hold of me at the shop. You know, um, the studio number is 546-5006, area code 217. Um, you can get a hold of us here, and we'll set up a consultation. Mm -hmm. Once we get the consultation established, and we figure out what needs to be done to accomplish our goals. Um, we set the appointment from that point on, and then we just come in and do it. Because, I mean, for these women, I mean, it's already devastating to go through breast cancer. Absolutely. And the majority of these women, like you said, have had surgeries. They have scars. Um, basically, their femininity taken away from them. Sure. And this constant reminder. So, to be able to come to you, I mean, that's got to be life-changing for oh, them. Oh, it is. It's life-changing for me. You know, honestly, like I never thought I'd have the opportunity to take what I've worked so hard mm -hmm. to do. Um, what I do on a daily basis is what I call ornamental tattooing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Design work and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I never even fathomed the idea that I could help somebody heal with it, mm -hmm. you know? And it's been amazing, you know, and humbling of an experience to hear all the stories, the hardships, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? To see the reactions when they stand in the mirror and they see what we've done, you know? It's been like, you get like hair in your arms. I up, couldn't like, even imagine, what? right? <laughs> He's got them now. I mean, because a lot of women can't even look at themselves in the mirror, and right. I think that's something we forget. It that. is. I mean, I've had mm -hmm. I've had people break down and cry. I've had mm -hmm. people just laugh hysterically. Mm -hmm. You know, those are my favorite. Just when right. they just they're just like, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> And I was like, right. I'm looking, honey, they look great. <laughs> they look great, yeah. <laughs> so it's the joy that you know really mm -hmm. brings to just help somebody heal, you know, um, and. People That's a gift. And people don't have, and something else I got to touch on too, mm -hmm. people don't have to worry about their insurance coverage or anything like that because I'm not charging for it. Right. And I don't want people to not come in. He does this for free. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want people <laughs> to feel like they can't get a hold of us because right. it's not in their budget because they don't right. need a budget. You know, if it's something that's going to help them heal um, and they qualify for it, it mm -hmm. yeah, there's no charge. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, I mean, I get to go home and feel good about myself at the end of the night. Right. I mean, it's that good karma thing. Maybe... It'll wash away some of the honor. He's shining, people. He's <laughs> shining. Exactly. So, in fact, we are doing um, a fundraiser, and we'll put a link on it um, in a couple of weeks at Papo's Cafe. We're doing a happy hour, and we're hoping to um, use all those proceeds, at least for the supplies, specifically um, for what Jason does um, awesome. for these women, because we kind of want to keep it local. Sure. Um, just very proud of what you're doing. Amazing gift. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I might even have to come back and get a tattoo at we'll some point. We'll work you through it. Right? <laughs> we'll work on it. Baby we'll work steps, on it. Right, steps. right, right. All right, so thanks for hanging out with this amazing Absolutely. gift. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank you, honey. It's been All right. My pleasure. Absolutely. So if um, you guys know any woman who has gone through the reconstruction and is still in that healing process with scars or um, needing repigmentation, um, Art. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're we're doing a lot of things with it. You yeah. know, I've, I've actually repigmented lips from lip cancer, so wow. we're kind of expanding on it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, this is breast cancer awareness month, mm -hmm. so we're going to focus on that. Yeah. But you know, the limitations aren't necessarily just to right. the breast. We're going to help you know cover scars, give mm -hmm. people their their dignity back, and right. you know, hopefully they can move forward with their head high. That's amazing. Thank you. That's a good gift. Yeah, it's been awesome. That's a great gift. Yeah, it's been pretty incredible. All right, yeah. kudos to you, man. All right, um, we're going to post the link to the Breast Reconstruction um, website as well as a link for our fundraiser that's coming up. Hoping you can come by. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. make it. Yeah, we're sure. going to have coffee and cocktails October 25th. Well, you're going to have coffee. Have <laughs> I might have cocktails. Okay. I'm not going to be working that night, so I might be having cocktails All as right. well. <laughs> I'll buy you your first cocktail. Deal. I'm there. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>